Good morning, everybody. It is cold this morning. It's about 18 degrees. Somebody's grumpy when they don't get their food, huh? Hey guys, let me turn the fence off. Hold on. Hold on. I know. Your food's coming. Eat your food. So I just came out to feed the chickens and the pigs this morning. Everything is frozen solid, so it's gonna take me a little while to defrost everything. I just wanted to let you know that our midweek video is gonna be replaced with a live stream tonight. La La Farms asked us to join them tonight. That's fun to say. I agree, that is fun to say, buddy. And not only is it a fun name to say, but they're a fun group of people to hang out with. They're really informative and have an awesome channel. Uh, we're super excited to hang out with them and get to know them a little bit better, so you don't wanna miss it. It's at seven o'clock tonight, and we're gonna provide the link in the description below. Hope to see you there. Right, piggies? You guys spilled your food again. You have spilled your food. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You're making a mess. You're making a mess. Huh. I guess that's why they call them pigs. That's why it's always a good idea to feed them first and then let them out. <laughs> I never did that before. <laughs> I just realized we have a lot of new subscribers that probably never got a chance to meet the infamous Mr. Phil. So let's go see how he's doing this morning. By the way, it's been really cold this week and the new setup with the Premier One charger and the bubbler has been working great. Uh, so I highly recommend trying that out if you're looking to keep your water from freezing this winter. If you're interested in learning how to make it, I have a video that shows how to make it from beginning to end. Where's Mr. Phil? There you are. Oh, the girls beat you up. 
What happened to your head? That's not nice. You okay? The girls were picking on you. Huh. That's not nice. Let's see. That's not nice. I gotta get that other chicken out of there. I had to put Mr. Phil back in his coop because his head was all ripped up. I don't know if you saw, all the feathers were ripped out and it was actually bleeding. Uh, that golden colored chicken that was in there last night with him must have been the culprit and ripped all his feathers out. Um, so I'm going to have to use some uh, blue coat. It's a, a germicidal and fungicidal spray that works perfect for this uh, situation. Uh, chickens have a tendency to peck at blood uh, and make things worse. So this is actually going to coat his head with a kind of purplish bluish color uh, and also let it heal at the same time. So Mr. Phil's going to have a cool purple uh, mohawk for a while. <laughs> This should be interesting. Mr. Phil is not a very nice rooster. Um, I'm going to try to grab him without getting uh, ripped up. We keep him around for entertainment purposes. Uh, Cheryl wants to get rid of him, but uh, Mr. Phil's infamous. I mean, everybody loves Mr. Phil. Everybody loves to hate Mr. Phil, so we're going we're gonna to keep him around for a little while longer anyway. Even though I don't have any at the moment, I highly recommend that you use gloves when using this because this will stain your hands really bad. All right. Sorry, Mr. Phil. No, 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 no. I don't know. Oh, relax, relax. I'm trying to help. Relax, relax. As you can see, Mr. Phil's head's all ripped up. It's all coated now. I gotta keep that crazy lady out of your house, huh? Thanks for joining me this morning. We hope to see you at 7 o'clock tonight.